Hello, welcome to iGo Gaming. Today we will defeat Calamity Ganon, the calamitous one, in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild today. Um Yeah, welcome to iGo Gaming. Ready? Let's go. Sorry, but my power isn't strong enough. I can't hold. Finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge. Okay, so that guy is Rivali, one of the champions. He is shooting the laser from his divine mask. That is me, but doing the same thing. Um, except she is the Zor Cap um, champion. Now. Uh, we don't. That guy is a Jumu. He's a Gohan champion. Also doing the same thing. And Urbosa, the Our moment has also doing the same thing. So I know my favorite weapon is the Master Sword, also the sword that I'm using. Um, and yes, I am using it. Um, as you can see, I'm about ready to pull it out of my thing. I am not the huge spider thing, though. That is Ganon. But yep, that's the Master Sword there, the glowing awesome sword. But uh, yeah, this is Clem and Ganon. So he's the ultimate boss of Breath of the Wild, but he's actually really easy, at least for me. I'm surprised I already got hit, but whatever. Who cares? Wow. Flurry rushes um, are the things that when you dodge at the perfect time, you can hit him a lot of times really quickly. Um, they're generally really easy, but for climbing Ganon, they're actually much harder. Um, that's the only reason why I've only gotten one for him so far. Yeah, actually, really easy. You know what? I forgot that I have ancient arrows that are actually not that effective against him, but whatever. They're a weapon. Or if he ever holds it there. Yeah. 
I beat him up. <laughs> but this is a flurry rush. This is what some pushes off a of buffalo. Phase two, see what happens. And yes, I have been getting before, just so you know. This is phase two. He is invincible unless you get a blurred rush or use the Rook's protection, which case he is vulnerable for a short amount of time. Same with if you, if you stasis plus him. Otherwise, you can't actually stasis him. Yeah, as you can see, he's already at really low health. Um... Stasis is a ruin that you can use in this game that stops time on, generally it's either blocks, but if you upgrade it, then you can also use it on enemies like Clam again, like that. Except for Clam again, and it's a very short time. <laughs> Same with Guardians, which are ancient robots that deal a ton of damage against you. That fireball is following me and it has a huge explosion of heat. And it's not very powerful, but still has a huge explosion, so not the best weapon of choice, but. And this is, just so I know, it is one of my favorite games. It might be my favorite, I'm not sure though. My other favorite games are Minecraft, pretty much every other Zelda game, and uh, there's not much others. I'm just a Zelda and Minecraft person. But uh, those are my other favorite games. Um, I will make YouTube videos of other games besides Minecraft and Zelda, but those will be the main ones. Um, but yeah, these will be the main ones, but this is actually the ending of Breath of the Wild. I decided to do it first for some reason, but, um, but, uh. I will start at the beginning after this, and then make more YouTube videos of it. Ooh. Yay! In this game, Zelda is, well, here in a little bit, once like kill Calamity Ganon, um, he will transform into a pig, and then he's Yellow will appear once you beat the pig up. <laughs> Which, the pig is actually clean again. And if, and if you've ever seen Ocarina of Time Ganon, not Ganondorf, but Ganon, it's basically that pig except much bigger. Much, much bigger. But, uh, you will get to see it here in a little bit. And Zelda, before this battle, I actually don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, um, I believe she is basically trapped in this guy's soul climb again in soul, I think. Something like that. I'm not really 100% sure, though. This guy really likes his guardian lasers. Um, in my inventory, in this Zelda game, you can actually cook food, and in order to in, in order to gain hearts at all. So, in like almost every other Zelda game, you can just like break pots, 
and cut grass to get hearts, but in this game you have to eat to gain hearts and there's no other ways. And there are actually some food that gives you full recovery plus some extra hearts, which are really nice, especially for this battle, but I only cooked one for some reason and um, I used it already. This might be a finishing hits. Nope. <sighs> Do you have any? No. Ooh, that's alright. I have a ton of bomb right there. Um, so there is Daruk's protection, which you can also use to make him vulnerable. Um, for a short amount of time. But, uh. I, and this is where he turns into the pig. Kids, I did the bait pretty much the f f first and second phase of him but then there's third phase huge big boring <sighs> nice cut scene calamity ganon is t um calamity ganon came from pure evil. Just so you know, he is pure evil. Like Zelda will say here in a little bit. Okay, so this is the huge pig monster that I was talking about from Ocarina of Time, except way bigger. <laughs> um, and yeah, bow of light, light arrows from Ocarina of Time too. Um, and in Breath of the Wild, you can actually catch your own horses. And I got this cool cord armor from DLC downloadable content for Breath of the Wild. And no, opponent is, well, she is, but you have to get Amiibo and DLC, I believe. And I only got DLC, so. Um. This is actually a really, really easy boss battle. Unless you suck at bow and arrow aiming, then it's actually pretty dang hard. Like, really, really, really suck. Which, if you suck at bow and arrows aiming, is what? Just so I know, bow and arrow aiming in Breath of the Wild was much better than Ocarina of Time and stuff. 
um, and he has all those help links. She's actually making those yellow dots things on Ganon every once in a while. Um, yeah, those dots with the Triforce on them. And that is the only way that we can damage them, by shooting the bow of light into them. And final two hits is now. Whee! I just hope my horse doesn't die. Which happened last time I did this, actually. And like the time before that and stuff, but... And next... Oof, my horse died. I'm pretty sure it died. Um, no, they only... Wow. I'm pretty sure I'm about to die. Um... Oh, Mipha's Grace, thank you. You are actually extremely helpful. Mipha's Grace immediately heals you back to full health when you die. And plus five hearts. So it's basically like a fairy, except fairies in this game. Um... And a lot of other Zelda games actually don't heal you to maximum hearts plus a lot. Like five hearts. Um, but, uh. But yeah, this is the final hit if you actually get to hit it, which we will hear in a little bit, if he doesn't kill me. Okay, he didn't. And that is how you defeat Clemmigan in the next game in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, that yellow being there, um, not there, but there is Zelda, just so I know. She, uh, got out of Ganon, because I beat him up. But yeah, this is really cool, since. And please like and subscribe! And watch my other videos that I'll make you soon. Yeah, this is the final cutscene of the game. Oh, and you also have to get certain memories. I think I forgot to get one or two memories, just so you know. But I destroyed Ganon, so I still kind of won the game. <laughs> Again, for my 15th time. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm really good at this game. But uh, that's Zelda. That uh, one with the yellow hair, without all of the cool weapons, is Zelda. But for those of you who have not played Breath of the Wild, um, it is a really fun game. It's also really good. Um, and then, and at the end, I believe Link loves Zelda, I believe, because I, um, if you were to get all the memories in the cutscene, it would be after this, that... And there's a flower called Silent Princess. 
and uh, it only blooms when someone's in love with each other. And if you get every memory, then they go up a hill, and your silent princesses keep on blooming everywhere. So I'm pre, but thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.